Hey guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner, edited edition, never fear. I've got my coffee, but no snack today. Gotta focus on what I'm doing, right? I thought I'd pull out the Pastel Dreams by Art Philosophy slash Prima Marketing. I still haven't looked into what they've decided to call themselves, so I will still say both. And I do apologize if you can hear the cicadas. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to, I had an idea. I've completely forgotten what it is. So I'm just gonna, you know, plop some stuff down, hope for the best. I think I wanna start really loose and maybe just like tighten it up as we go. So I'm gonna spray the page, get these wet. I have nothing really planned. It'll be a portrait of some kind, very chill. I just wanna have a relaxing day. So I will start with light colors. Just start blocking in some shapes. This is the jaw down here. There'll be a shadow here-ish on the neck. Let's do, let's do darker skin. See how this goes. I rarely practice darker skin tones. I really should practice it more often. Put some eye socket shadows in there. And we'll take like a peachy pinky, mix it with this yellow that's already on the palette for probably some of the lightest colors. Again, not looking for any kind of perfection right now. We're gonna work up to that. It's a very golden hue. Add some peachy into it. Let's mix some of this peachy pink, some red, with this more brown this in for some more shading. And we'll mix some purple with some brown. I mean, we all know I'm bringing in like hot pink and stuff at the end. I still like what I like. Let's add just a bit of red. Maybe some blue to tone it down. It's a little cherry-ish. And a little bit of that skin tone. I don't look like she's wearing a lot of makeup. I'm just kind of block in a top lip, a bottom lip, a good cheeky color, and blibbity blab dab. All right, let's add in some background color. I love this blue color. I'm just gonna mix the light and dark blues. See what comes of it. And it's like super pale grayish blue. I think I wanna give her like a block of color for hair. Like give it a nice shape, but then like fill it in with just colors. We'll see if I remember to do that. Can you even bring it in? Break the neck, get a little shadow, cheekbones. Just playing around with colors. Never take it too seriously. Maybe I'll give her like a pink top, like kind of like an off the shoulder top. Pop that in, add a little bit of this purple for some dimension. And then I'll add a little bit more skin tone. Just over here to pinch off that shoulder. Get those collarbones, get those tendons, get all those beautiful things that the human body has. And I feel like I wanna add some yellow to that background. Really water that in. All right, I'm gonna let this layer dry and we're gonna start fine tuning. All right, and I think for the hair, I think just, maybe I'll just do all Prima Marketing today, just get crazy. I'll bring in the classics for the hair and make it give her like this nice dark contrasty hair. But I do wanna continue with her skin tone. Oh, and I can even bring in some of this color for her skin tone. There's some nice purples, pinks, reds, cocos. Let's see, oh, I should probably activate them, get them a little juicy. So let's make a nice skin tone on the 
up. Alright, let's work with this. Turn it out a little. Or start creating some shading. Not sure why it's drying so quickly. Maybe because the paper's hot. Also, it is just really hot here. Looking in some loose shapes for the facial features. Darken a touch of purple. See how that looks for a nice shadow. I feel like the purple is quite cool and it, oh, this paint does not like to sink into the paper. And like, just pulls up as I go. You can see it like lift as I just, even when it's totally dry. We're gonna keep going though. That's what we're gonna do. Maybe I can get to the colored pencil stage. It's like, I love the colors that they have. It's just, they do not wanna play well. And I've tried them on lots of different papers. I'll give her, ooh, this color blue is really cool. Some very blue eyes. Maybe I'll give her two different colored eyes. I'll do a bluey one, and we'll mix some of this pink to make our own purple out of it. Something like that, and we'll take a little of this red. Bring in some lippy. It was a little messy, but that's all right. Just make, make the lips a little bit bigger. Ah, I keep dragging the bristles. And a little red for the eye ducts. Tear ducts, not the eye ducts. Let's do her hair. Hmm. Maybe I'll make her hair match her eyes. And I have no idea. I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I'm planning on something going swoopy that way. You know, so let's swoop and see what happens. We're swooping for the best here. Uh, Here-ish, we swooped. And, come back with that. Do the nice teal color. We're gonna swoop. Mm, that's too much of a swoop, I don't like that. Okay, so her hair is gonna be dark blue now. I like it closer. We'll bring this purple down. Oh, maybe I'll do a, she'll have a swoop like this. We're figuring it out. I'm gonna mix this dark blue and the dark purple. That'll be like this area back here. We'll add some more details and fun stuff later. I don't want to get too much into that right now. Bring this in. Maybe this will be part of her hair. We're not sure yet. It's kind of working, kind of not. But we'll take the yellow. Outline that so we'll definitely know what is and is not the hair. It's all about color gorgeousness. Maybe bring some yellow onto the face. Just whatever's left over on the brush, nothing, nothing too strong. Let that dry and we'll get even more detailed. All right, so we got that dry. I switched brushes because this one holds a little less water and it has a finer point. The other one is great for slopping down stuff, but we're gonna start getting into details. So I'm gonna need a little more control. And I think, I think, I think, I might do, okay, let me do her irises first, and then I'm gonna get in there and do her eyelashes and whatnot. But I'll do this part first, since the eyelashes lay over the iris. It's just easier to do the inside of the eye. I'm gonna add a touch of green and a touch of yellow. 
Don't know why, but I just love adding that to the thing. Well, she went from teal eyes to green eyes. And it's still beautiful. Let's add a little, oh, that black was very goopy. Okay, do your thing. We're gonna add some pink to that. We'll add that in the middle. And we'll give a little eye line. Ooh, that is, that is some dramaticness happening. Was not going this way. Didn't see this happening, but here we are. We will have to work around that. I am so scared now to like try and make it happen on this side. I'm gonna draw the eye. Line. I'm gonna draw this first. Oh God, you guys. Why did I do it? We'll do touch-ups with pencil. Yay, mixed media. All right, let's get some more lashes in here. It looks messy now, but we're gonna go over it with stuff later, so I'm not terribly worried. If this was like final touches, oh my god. That's somewhat of an eyelid here. She has like so much makeup on, I don't know where the eyelid's gonna be. Yep, there it is. All right, let's, let's clean all that black off the brush. That was terrifying. It doesn't wanna clean off. All right, I'm gonna give that a quick dry because this is gonna be a hot mess now. All right, gonna mix together a shadow color. I'm gonna take some of this pale purpley stuff here, mix it with this brown here, and hope for the best. Maybe I'll start around the nose. Under the lip. Oh, okay, wow, that's too strong. I like to give cute little smiley dimple things and this just made her look like she's frowning. We'll work on that. Needs more purple. And it is so dry inside. Like these paints are drying up so quickly. I don't know if it's the paints or if it's cause, cause of something else. I'm just saying I don't have these issues with my Jane Davenport paints. Just throwing that out there. Also, my Daniel Smith ones, yes, but I use my Jane Davenport's more than anything. just like picks up and like keeps my brush loaded with color, which I don't love. I don't know why I still have these paints. Cause I constantly complain about them. It's like, I want to love them. They're just turning gummy now. Let's really water that down and possibly use it as a blush. Oh, it just picks up the color. Just lay it down quickly and move on. Now it just looks muddy and icky. I really love these colors and I'm so bummed. Maybe I just can't paint with them. Maybe it's me, user error. All right, now her forehead's starting to look really pale. And yes, I know I need to get her eyebrow or yeah, eyebrows. But first, add a little more touch, a little touch of color to that forehead. That looks really pale right there. What's going on, honey? What'd you do? <sighs> These eyes, just yikes. Yeah, see how it just like this paint doesn't sink into the paper. It sits on top and it just gets wet and gunky. Whatever. I will definitely do her eyes with colored pencil, but let's give her some eyebrows. I feel like I want, I mean, I guess I just said I was gonna do her eyes, but her eyelashes will have some pink to them. 
put this in there now, so I'll remember to do it later. And I'm gonna move this aside because I'm just gonna do some dark now around her hair. And then I'm just gonna put these away because they are not making me a happy boy. It's like, I feel like I would, should do a giveaway with these, but also like, why would I wanna do that to somebody? Ugh, the black, <laughs> why, why did I even? It's so overpowering and it does not want to wash out of the brush. just like absorb water. I don't know what the deal is, but it's driving me nuts. So I think I'm gonna call it good with the watercolors. And if I need more watercolor stuff, I will just use my Jane ones because oh my God, it's driving me nuts. The struggle is real, people. Okay, putting these aside, I think I'm just gonna get rid of all the Prima Marketing watercolors. I'm just, I've not been happy with them. Very upsetting, a lot of money. Let's dry this girl and put some colored pencil on her. All right, let's pull out some colored pencils and see if I can just save this poor piece that I just cannot get, get to look the way I want. Taking the clippies off since I'm not gonna be, you know, watercoloring anymore. So one eye, let's see, I want it to be like a chartreuse yellow, tealish green. So let's see what I can do with this. Yas? Let's see. A little that. A little of that. Some yellow in there. And some actual teal. I'll use like a nice mean mid-tone turquoise put some of this in there for the people bring that out to the I always gonna do pink in the lashes but here we are with this one we're gonna get real sketchy with this because the whole painting is making me rethink my life choices and I don't like that feeling. Add some some of this in there. And then I wanna ooh, this might be dangerous, but I might put a little of this in there. Let's just see. Nah, I think that's fine. And these white. These are the Jane Davenport pinpoint paint pens. Need to shake that up a little more. Just because. Look right there. All right, it doesn't like to lay down too much on the really waxy colored pencils, but it still does. And on this side, yeah, we're gonna go neon pink in her eye, why not? A little neon pink and some darker pinks. Let's try this nice little Dahlia purple. Give her some purple lash happening. Ooh, and some white, clean up the eyes, just a scotch. I guess I could have used this as well, just so the white wasn't so harsh. Ooh, maybe I'll choose neon pink for this whole interior. I was gonna mix colors, but why mix when I don't need to? A little starker white, a little super highlight. Liking it better. And hmm, should I stick with browns for coloring on the interior or should I just pull out some teal? Ooh, that's nice. A 
then let's do the lighter one. Do a little, do a little line work. Maybe create a little pattern. And by pattern, just you know, random marks, because I'm gonna take the time. And let's try yellow. There's like a little dot inside. Oh, now they're flowers. Cute. All right, and now, hmm, let's give her lip a little more definition there. Pretty good. I want it to be a little more smiley. She is happy to be existing, so I want to convey that. And that's a neon pink to this eye. Well, it looks like she has messy makeup. That's my bad. Let's see if I can tone it down a little. Just making a mess, but having fun doing it. Add some pink to the nose, a little teal. See how that looks for a shadow. Got some shadowy up here. Ooh. Okay, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. A little shadow down here on the neck. Oh, she's looking pretty. I love it when I like don't like something in the beginning and then as I keep going, I'm liking it more and more and more. I tell ya, was not loving using those watercolors. So I'll just stop using them. Let's give her some free flowing hair. Just Pink obviously needs to go into this part. Hmm, I'm loving it now. Just gonna say. Yes, I strategically placed that yellow right there. Gotta love a little pop of yellow. A little yellow in the shirt, why not? Ooh, okay, I'm getting happier. Let's do some Highlighties. Ooh, she is very dramatic. And I'm loving it. Ooh, I almost threw my pencil. It just felt like it needed to come down a little more, like the eyes seemed a little uneven, so, you know, now I'm just messing with it. So it doesn't really look even or uneven, it just looks there. Just a little dark brown, just to help with this shading on this nose. Just a little bit, and then I can go back, kind of lighten it, kind of blend all those colors together, just a scooch. There's a lot happening there. All right, oh, dirty pen, ew. Cover that up. section maybe I should have a pencil just 
Oof, lay down too much. Now it's just nothing but wax. Well, all right, you guys, I think that's it, but wait. Wait, I wanna add some dots. She looks like she could use some dots, but I do need to activate them. I don't know if this actually goes to the paper or not. Let's test. Yeah, it seems fine. It's just to add a little extra oomph. And there's a little sparkle to these dots. Which, who doesn't love sparkle? Hello. And I feel like I need a little yellowy gold. What is this? Is this yellowy gold? Flip to the back. Mm, it's brownish. But they all sparkle. Now, I think she's done. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time as soon as I got done with that horrible time of watercoloring. <laughs> um, but seriously, I, I don't know. I'm always fighting with those watercolors. I love the colors so much, but they just, I can't find the right paper. I'm just not using them right. I don't know. I'm, I don't have the issue with any of the watercolors. I hate knocking a product, but they are not my favorite. I will continue to try them and not go insane. How about that? Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you live next Sunday when Rocky and I are back. So take care and uh, thanks for joining me. Love you guys. Lots of love. Kaboom!